Light. Good afternoon and welcome to the June meeting of the Murfreesboro Historic Zoning Commission. Brenda, would you please call the roll? Yes. Jim Thompson. Here. Rick Cantrell. Gib Backlin. Here. Kurt Wade. Deborah Belcher. David Becker. Here. Linda Anderson. Here. Mayor May White. Here. Paul Cross. Here. We do have a quorum then, so we'll proceed. Uh, call this meeting to order. You should have received two sets of minutes, one of the May 17th meeting and a special meeting held on June the 14th. Uh, why don't we start with the May 17th uh, meeting minutes. Are there any edits or corrections or additions? If not, the chair would welcome a motion to approve as written. I'll motion that we approve the minutes as submitted. Do we have a second? Second. Second, great. Is there any further discussion? If not, all those in favor accepting the minutes of the May 17th meeting as written, please say aye. 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 Those opposed? They are accepted then. And then we have the special meeting held on June the 14th. Uh, are there any corrections or additions to those minutes? If not, the chair would welcome a motion to accept those minutes. I move we accept those minutes. Great. We have a second? Second. We have a second. Any further discussion? If not, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Those opposed? They are approved. Thank you, Brenda, very much. Robert, what is our uh, business today? Uh, Chairman Thompson, we have one item on the agenda. It's, the address is 32, excuse me, 332 East Main Street. Uh, the property is owned by Harriet Patterson, and she's requesting to remove a chimney from the house. Uh, in the agenda package I sent out, it included several photos, and I'm going to attempt to put them on the screen here right now, so you may want to talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> <laughs> we appreciate that. While you are working on that, uh, if, are you representing then your, uh, the, the residents? Would you like to come forward and state your name, please? And so you all desire to remove a fifth chimney that's on the east wing. We have some pictures then we could look yeah, at, we Robert. Can have the pictures. I think I put them up there. There, there we go. And this is a picture from the uh, east side. Uh, you can see the two chimneys in the middle that are bound together by a wall. Uh, the one that they want to remove is to the left of those. Uh, on the next slide, it should show a uh, closer picture of the, of the chimneys. If we can go to the next one. I guess we can go back. Stay up here. There you go. <laughs> uh, the smaller chimney that's on the left hand side of the picture is, uh, is the one that they want to remove. Uh, the larger chimneys, there's another set of chimneys that uh, is on the front of the house also, and it's bound together with a, with a wall in between the two larger chimneys, and they have uh, step-ins and step-outs uh, on the chimneys. Uh, the smaller one, uh, I'm, I'm thinking, is probably attached <coughs> to a, a flue that goes to the, ch uh, to the kitchen or something, uh, and it, it hasn't been used in a long time and they would like to just take it out and replace it with uh, uh, shingles to match the, the existing shingles on the roof. Uh, and they need to uh, come for the commission to in order to, uh, to request that. Okay. Mr. Pastor, is there anything like you would like to say before we ask your questions? Well, the chimney is in very bad condition. It's deteriorating, bricks are falling off. It, uh, the fireplaces that it serviced have been blocked up. They have been used in over 40 years. Well, probably about 80 years, to be <laughs> honest. Uh, but they were formally blocked off about uh, 1973. And uh, it, it's a, we need to do something about the chimney. And since it, it's no longer functional, it's not uh, germane to the architectural style of the house. It's just rather stubby. And uh, we would respectfully request uh, your uh, blessings to uh, remove it. What questions does the board have of Mr. Patterson? Uh, Bill, I, I don't have a question on that particular chimney, but I am concerned about the other two architectural uh, chimneys that, that are on the home, mm -hmm. two sets. Uh, are you and your mom planning to uh, 
keep those. In, oh yes, that's, that's part of it. That would. So when you re when you um, remove the <clears throat> the chimney that's that's not working, are you going to be doing some work at the same time on those chimneys? Yeah, I noticed when I went by the house, it looks like there's some brick that has fallen off and some maybe sagging on that wall that that is between the two chimneys. There, well, we're, we're going to have some work done, some roofing done on the back part of the house, and um, I probably just haven't noticed that. I haven't looked for it, put it like that. Uh -huh. uh, but if there is some, some work to be done, we'll do it. I would agree with uh, Linda that when you look at the parapet wall in that last photograph that we were looking at, it's, it's the one that's a close-up. I don't know if they could put that back on the screen for the television audience, but this parapet, this wall here connecting the two chimneys, it appears that the top of it is heating up and you have some repointing issues. There's a brick missing on the front chimney and it looks like it's, it's time to repoint or inspect it all for repointing. Um, and I think the work needs to be done before that becomes the same condition as this fifth chimney and you have to take uh, repair of these. Uh, at this point, I think you probably are going to have to re do some repair work. You may want to close off those other chimneys if they're not in use. But uh, th there's no fireplaces to those. Hmm. The, they don't operate. There is no that that house was built in two sections, mm -hmm. and that's in the first section. And when they, whenever they did that, I don't know around uh -huh. 1860 uh -huh. or something, those fireplaces left. So that those are purely ornamental. They're, they're decorative. Wow. Mm -hmm. uh, do they have still have flues in them? Are the tops open? No. There, I mean, there's no there's no fireplace. But are the flues themselves of the chimneys are they open? Uh, it looks like the back one has a cap to it. Yeah. Whereas the front one does not. In that. I part. think at one point they were all capped, but yeah, the wind tends yeah. to blow those off. I know that mm -hmm. all too well. I guess my concern for us is that we're taking down a chimney, uh, suggesting taking down a chimney when there's other repointing being needing to be mm -hmm. done. And our question is, if you need to be redoing that, could you not be repointing this chimney and leave it in place as an architectural element of, of a former need for the house? Oh, you could. Yeah. But we don't want to. I understand. <coughs> it, it's not serving any purpose. It doesn't have any detail to it. And it just... Um, well, does it leak into the house at that point? Is the plaster deteriorating in that area? Uh, we've had some issues with it. What are those issues? Uh, the well, bricks falling, um, and uh, there is some leaking around there. Mm -hmm. Does it have a cap on it? No, no, and no cap at all. <clears throat> I guess the you know one of the things about chimneys in the historic district is that probably very few of them are in use, but they do provide an aesthetic mm -hmm. uh, element to houses. So the fact that they aren't used is uh, sort of common, uh, you know. I have my house has three chimneys, um, none of which are in use, but uh, they don't all look uh, that great. But um, have you checked on, gotten any estimates on cost of repair or the, or the roof roofing costs? All we that had kind of a thing? contractor looking at it, and yeah. it was his advice that we get it taken down when we get the roofing done, mm -hmm. and we're waiting to get permission <clears throat> to get. Uh, get this approved before we yeah. move on that. Have you, but you haven't gotten an estimate on what it would cost just to fix the, the brickwork or anything like that? No. Okay. What other questions does the Commission have of the applicant? What, when do you intend to uh, do repair work on the chimneys that are on the side wall? We have not taken that up. Actually, that's two different issues. <laughs> it's two different issues, but it's it's a, it's masonry maintenance. It's masonry maintenance, and but it, we don't want to take those down. I understand, but you're going to be facing that issue at some point here soon because water is going to be getting into your house. And so, the, my question was, if you're going to be dealing with that at some point, could you not be dealing with this chimney at the same time and leave the chimney? No. Okay. It's just two different issues. We want to, we'll maintain the uh, the decorative piece, but the other piece is not uh, the one the one in bad condition. We just want to remove. 
What other questions or comments does the Commission have? I guess you can see, Bill, from our questions that we're very concerned about the four existing chimneys being architecturally um, necessary for the looks of the house, well, right. even I, though and, they're not functional. Mm -hmm. And I agree. We're, we're going to keep those up okay. and maintain them. That's great. That's great. If it were cheaper to repoint the chimney and put a cap on it than it was to take it out and uh, reframe and re uh, sheathe the area where the chimney is, would you still want to take the chimney down? If it was cheaper, uh, no, no, that wouldn't be an issue. But <clears throat> I've been given to understand that it's not cheaper. What other questions do we have? Uh, are you taking replacing the roof on both sides? <clears throat> this chimney? I mean, on the front end? And no, it's just on the, in fact, you can't even see it from there. There is a flat area behind the house which needs to be re roofed. So you're not re roofing the area where the chimney is, other than just the specific area right. where the chimney goes. Are there any other questions? Well, I just probably would make a statement. I I don't see much architectural benefit to that little small chimney that's on the roof at this particular point. And Jim, you're the expert here. Maybe you're seeing something that I don't. Um, but uh, Bill, I am I'm really concerned about how I would feel if you were to come back five years from now and say you're having to take the other chimneys down. And so I'm, I would no. be taking you at your word that you would keep those no, that wouldn't. Shape. That wouldn't. Uh, we don't want to. You said these, uh, where this chimney is, that the fireplaces are are they blocked, just infilled, or are they actually completely covered up with? They're covered up. You would have to go to great efforts to build a fire in there with an axe, <laughs> pickaxe. <laughs> And there's, there's no indication of a fireplace in the oldest part of the house? No. There's a stairwell, and uh, uh, a door, I guess. That is <coughs> purely a remnant. wonder how they stayed warm in the winter. Well, when they built the addition to the house, that's when that fireplace, the, the, the chimney and all that that we needed, uh, was used for. I'll be glad to show it to you. Is there any further discussion? If not, the chair would welcome a motion toward the a request to remove the chimney. I will move that um, that Ms. Patterson gets to remove the chimney as she has asked. We have a motion. Do we have a second? I'll second it. Is there any further discussion? Then all those in favor of taking down the chimney as requested, please say aye. 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 Those opposed? No. 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 So we have three, two, four. Is that correct? Well, I saw Jim and Gibb voted no. Who else voted no? I voted no. You and, and Gibb and Paul. Okay. Paul. That's three no's. And the other four are four. Mm -hmm. So your request is approved. Appreciate it. Robert, is there any further business? Uh, that's all I have. Well, then the chair would welcome a motion to uh, go home. <laughs> I make a motion that we go home. We go home. We have a second. Second. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Those opposed, we are adjourned. Thank you.